Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in this quick tip we're going to learn how to create a custom identity plate not only to display in Lightroom but also when you output and you distribute your images. So underneath the Lightroom menu or underneath the Edit menu if you're on Windows, I'm going to choose Identity Plate Setup. In the Identity Plate Editor, you'll notice that there are two standard or preset identity plates plus a personalized one. As soon as I choose Personalize, you'll notice that I can either use a stylized text or a graphical identity plate. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the stylized text identity plate and then just type in Photography by Julianne cost. Now if I wanted to make changes to just a certain portion of the type, I could go ahead and select that text and then do something like change either the font or maybe the size of it. Let's go a little bit bigger there and maybe even change the color to bright red. And you can see as I make these changes that we're actually seeing the identity plate up here in the upper left hand corner. So this is a great way, for example, if you wanted to brand your studio, maybe in the sales room if you're selling through Lightroom, you would have that identity plate up there. All right, once we've created this identity plate, then I'll use the custom option to save as, and I'll save this as PB for photography by and then J cost. Once I click save, this will become accessible not only here but throughout all of the different output modules. Now, if I want to scoot over to use a graphical identity plate, then I just need to locate the file. So I'll navigate to this blue logo. This is a PSD file. It happens to be on black here. So we'll go ahead and select choose because the black on black will be fine. But if I wanted this to be transparent, like if I wanted it to be just the logo against white, then I would need to make that transparency in Photoshop by just maybe turning off the black layer and then saving that as a PSD in G file. So I'll go ahead and save this as well. I'll do a save as and we'll call this logo. Click save. But before I say OK, let's go ahead and change this one right here, this identity plate back to the photography by Julianne Cost. All right, we'll click OK and then we just need to move over, for example, to the slideshow. I want to show you how you can create or show this identity plate using the overlay panel. And of course you can use this in combination with watermarking as well. And we can change the opacity and increase the scale if we want to. We could also reposition this just like you can reposition um, any of your text overlays in the slideshow module. If I move over to the print module, you can see that in the page area here, this is where I would add my identity plate. So I can add not only a watermark, so for example, if I wanted to put the word proof over all of my images, I can add that as a watermark, but then I can change the margin here at the top and go ahead and add my identity plate anywhere that I want on this page layout. If we move over to the web to create our web galleries, you should just know that down here we can add our identity plate here. And then what you might want to do is just remove the text from your site title so that you don't have that title, but instead you've branded your logo with your identity plate. So there you have it, a quick way to create custom identity plates in Lightroom. I'm Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.